What's up you guys? Today we're going to install this eBay snorkel on the 1996 Toyota Tacoma behind me so we can finally go overlanding for real. Alright, so here's some of the tools that you're going to need to do this install. Um, the main one being this hole saw. Um, you can pick this up at your local hardware store. It's an 83 millimeter diameter or 3 inches 1 quarter. Um, you can pick, I picked this up at Ace Hardware. You can probably get it at Home Depot. Um, you'll need a pin. I'm using a paint marker. Um, this is just to mark where you're going to drill into the pillar when you attach the snorkel to the pillar. That's helpful. You'll want some masking tape. Um, you want to put masking tape on the area that you're going to do the, the hole with the hole saw. Um, and this keeps the paint from chipping and peeling up and stuff. So we'll put this all over the fender where we're going to drill. Um, you want that. Um, we're going to need a little black uh, primer. This is just to cover the bare metal once we do that hole um, in the fender. We don't want any rust. Just a tiny bit is all we need. Um, we're going to use a 10 millimeter. Um, I have it on an impact wrench, but you could use this on just a standard socket. And this is to remove the bolts that hold the fender flares on. Um, and if you don't have fender flares, you still are going to have those 10 millimeter um, bolts up. Uh, holding on the uh, the interior of the fender liner. So you'll need that. Um, I got a pair of dikes. Um, this is to cut the, uh, the little clips that come that are holding the uh, fender liner on. You got to cut them because I haven't figured out a way to, to pull them out with saving them, but I do have a whole baggie of them. Um, I got them, I think, on eBay. Super cheap. So we're just going to cut them and replace them with the new ones. And yeah, that's basically it. Oh, we got the we got drill bits here. Um, we're going to pre-drill where the snorkel attaches to the, the front pillar of the truck. Um, but I'll show you that more as we get there. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so these just pop right off because this truck didn't uh, come with these fenders, it doesn't, or these flares, it doesn't have the little holes um, that you might have if you have these already on your truck from the factory. And there are little clips that go in there. Um, that's just a step that we're not showing because it doesn't have, doesn't have it in this particular truck. Okay, here is one of those uh, clips that I was talking about that's super hard to get out. Um, I'm going to grab the dikes and just cut that off. Should actually be enough. So you can probably see now, this is all dropped down. This is the inner fender liner, and it's basically giving us access to the air intake tube, which is right under here. And this is why you might want to install a snorkel, is the air intake is right here. So if you were to get water back up in here, you could suck it right in. Okay, let's stop that. Let's 
Jeez. All right, guys, so we've taken the fender flare off, if you have one of those, and we've taken down the inner fender liner, and that gives us access to the inside of this uh, fender well here, and it also gives us access to the air intake um, tube. So I'm gonna pull that out right now. There's two 10 millimeter bolts um, holding this up, and we've undone them, so this thing just snaps right off. Basically, you can think, you got your air filter box right here, it goes into the fender uh, right here, and this is where your truck is sucking in air. So this is really the reason why you'd be installing a snorkel other than just looking cool, would be that if you were going through a creek, uh, a pretty deep creek, um, and you kicked a bunch of water in here, or you stalled in that creek um, at that water level, you could ingest a ton of water and it's not good for the motor. So. That's really what snorkels do other than keep the dust out better in the desert conditions. Um, and you can see right here, the snorkel is basically just a continuation of that air intake and gets it way above any water level you're going to be on. So it's kind of what it looks like right there. Now let's finish installing it. Alright, so now we're at the point where we got to cut a hole in the side of our truck. Um, it's probably the most stressful part, but they include this stencil, which makes it really easy. So, yeah, just watch. We're going to line it up and tape it down, and we'll be able to cut right where we need to. Okay, so we've got the stencil on there. Um, it's lined up on the top, it's lined up on this side. So it should be just where it needs to be. Um, you can see this cutout is for uh, the antenna. So I'm just double checking, you know, make sure I didn't make a stupid mistake, but there's a little wiggle room here. I've got the stencil on there. If I drill this hole, it looks like everything's gonna line up. Um, and we've got this crease here in the fender here too, so. It looks good. I think that's <laughs> I think that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole in the side of the truck now. So we're about to drill into the side here, and this is something I learned on the last one I installed um, on my gold track. Was if you get this exact blade, the teeth are a little aggressive for going through metal, um, and it'll just jam up. So what I actually did was when I get down to I'm actually cutting into the fender is I have the drill running backwards just gently to kind of score it until it gets down enough to where the saw will actually start cutting through and you can go forward again. So now we're running backwards. Okay, going forward. Sick. We are almost 100% through. I'm just going to get that last part. I 
Okay. Now this, um, you're gonna want to save this and make a necklace out of it. This will be your um, your badge of honor for your snorkel install or your challenge coin. Maybe it's your snorkel challenge coin. <laughs> we can start that. <laughs> So we've got our main hole um, in this fender. We can put the snorkel on. Now we need to drill uh, the mounting points for the attachment studs that are on the snorkel. Um, you can just pick a, pick a drill bit that is a good bit wider than this stud. And that'll just give you a little wiggle room as you adjust it. So I'm gonna start out with this, which is a, um, a 3 8 And I might even go up a little bit more. It just helps you get it centered when you're attaching it up here as well. Alright, I'm also going to pre-drill these holes just so your drill bit doesn't wander with that um, full-size bit. This will just give it some place to, to stay accurate, so. There's that one. There's that one. Still good. Oh, this drill bit's broken. So it looks like we just need to make this hole slightly wider and then we're going to be able to wiggle it in there. So do that real quick. Try this at home. Actually, uh, so now we're just gonna hit the just the bare edges of the of the metal we just cut away. Um, I know I didn't mask it off anymore, but you know, a little bit kind of rec recklessly here. Next part is we're gonna put these hose clamps on. Pretty self-explanatory. They go over the top, and that is so we can clamp down to our boot here. So this guy goes in like this. Yep, like this. And that's gonna come out here, so. Sometimes this can be tricky to put on. When I put this on the gold truck, 
I tore this boot because of how tight it was fitting around this. I tried heating it up, didn't work. This one, for whatever reason, is a lot easier. So you may encounter that problem. Um, let's see if we can get it on there. Basically, it's going to go in there like that. And we can test fit it and see where it's going to need to come out. That's about perfect. <laughs> okay, so this guy goes in here like this. This guy's got to connect to this boot and you have very little room to make it happen. So um, I'm gonna play around. Maybe I'm gonna get it on this side first and slide it through and we'll see what happens or we can go this way. So I'm gonna try it first this way. As we're getting close to being done, we've got the boot on the snorkel um, and what I did was attach it to the snorkel side and then walk it through. Is that what I did? Actually, I just put the snorkel on and then put the boot in and got it connected through the fender. That was easier than trying to make that corner. Um, and that boot holds on there really well. So that's where we're at right now. We got the studs through. There's no nuts on them yet. We've got the boot here. And we're going to twist this up and made it up with this guy. And then uh, we're going to do our bolts and we'll be good to go. if I brought a little hat. I don't know if you can see this, but these uh, the studs in here, they've got washers and lock nuts on top. They're pretty dang hard to reach and you kind of just got to do it by feeling. Um, so I've got this up in there and just by feeling, putting it on and slowly making a little progress on tightening these down. Doing them too tight, I'm gonna get the top done first, but I'm just getting them, little, getting them started. All right guys, so now we've come to the point where we're gonna attach the snorkel to the pillar. And you've got these three bolts and washers. And then I went to the hardware store and picked up these guys. These are just self-tapping metal screws. Uh, the kit comes with rivets, but I like to use the screws since you can back them out. That's good. Probably would have been easier to do before we put the snorkel on, but whatever. Okay, so this is where the pin helps. Um, probably just gonna end up drilling th straight through this while it's sitting here, but I'm gonna mark this in case it moves. Yeah. So My impact wrench's uh, battery is dead, but we can do that with this. We've wrapped it up for the most part. Last thing to do, put on the snorkel topper. <laughs> Damn! Mm. I know we're gonna hit way gnarlier trails now. Damn! Mm. That thing is on there. 
one final touch for our snorkel, and that is one of these custom handmade gel badges. This is from a member on Tacoma World. Um, I think his name is Seaboy88 or something like that, but I'm gonna, I'll put that in the description of the video. Um, these are, I feel like, makes the whole thing. Um, I've already cleaned this off so it's not greasy. My hands are uh, very dirty, so definitely do more prep when you do this yourself. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're overlanding now, boys. Dude, that looks...